How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of December 2019. Looking at life and love, I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is going to be in the middle of the month, right around the 12th, that we will have this month's full moon. This full moon will be taking place in a part of the sky for you that has to do on the one hand with finances, money you earn and money that you spend. And it is also connected to self-esteem and self-worth as well, perhaps the possessions you have also. Now, here's the thing to remember. When we have such strong financial energy, it means that the money you need is there. There may be some spiritual lessons that you are walking as part of understanding what it means to provide for yourself based on your own behalf, your own efforts, and to provide to those to whom you are responsible. Now, the reason I say that is because this full moon will be speaking in a conversation of tension with Neptune, which means that things might not feel as stable as you may prefer. It really is okay. It is literally just a moment. There may be a moment of an expense or a moment of wondering if you're on the right path or are earning money the way that you desire to earn it, but it can also go to a much more personal level, a moment of questioning your own self-esteem or feeling a sense of doubt. Now that's never fun, but it is a moment that really is key and it comes and it goes and you get the lesson. And that is part of the empowerment of this time. Whatever may come, it is ultimately meant to tell you, to show you, to help you to understand that what it is that you have within you is what you can count on. And you're about to find out that there really is a tremendous amount of strength and vision and a truly expansive sense of potential in your life now. And why is that? Well, that is because of Jupiter. It is right around the second of the month that Jupiter is going to change signs, the momentous move of 12 months into fellow Earth sign Capricorn. Now this is going to be especially great for you because it is fellow Earth sign. And this placement is going to expand your horizons, give you a whole new optimistic perspective that you can take forward as you go out there in the world and taking on new adventures, whether it's in travel, whether it's in higher education or philosophical exploration and so much more. Now, how good this energy can get is going to reveal itself to you very quickly as we get to the end of the month. It is right around Christmas day that we are going to have a solar eclipse. Now, this solar eclipse is notable partly because it is an eclipse, which means we are beginning eclipse season. That'll take us right into the new year. And when we are in eclipse season, the ancients said that the veil between the worlds was especially thin, and it becomes that much easier to recognize the spiritual lessons playing out in your life. But what we are having simultaneously with this solar eclipse is Jupiter. Now, just the sun meeting Jupiter in the sky, the ancients called the luckiest day of the year. Having an eclipse here gives it that much more electricity and dynamism. It gives it a real sense of uh, having that extra luck that comes in unexpected ways. So whether this is a surprise opportunity to travel, that can happen at this time. And if it is that you do end up traveling around the solar eclipse, this trip looks to be uh, one that affects you very deeply and can speak to some spiritual shift that takes place within you. It is also possible at this time that there's just that extra bit of luck where it comes to higher education, immigration and citizenship matters, legal matters as well. It really is this sense of freedom and being on a brand new path. The thing with eclipses though is the best way to work with them is to just be receptive, to just be open. It's not necessarily an energy that you want to consciously be working with the way that some people like to put wishes out there whenever there's a new moon or take certain actions because the more it is that you can be open, it's like there are infinite pathways for the universe to deliver something perhaps even better than anything you could have imagined for yourself. And so strive to be as flexible as possible at this time. 
let yourself be called to whatever adventure may present itself to you and chances are it will be an adventurous time that changes you in profound ways long after not only this month but this decade is over which is very soon now where it comes to matters of love venus is going to spend the first three weeks of the month in the same part of the sky that we have the eclipse in eventually that we have jupiter moving into as well fellow earth sign and so love does get international at this time and it can feel as if there are more love related options for you uh, where it comes to people from very different backgrounds than you've known before at the same time though throughout this month mars is going to continue to move through your opposite sign which brings a certain courage and a certain passion to your desire to connect with others. So if you're open to meeting someone new, there is that sense of wanting to be with another person that can have you taking risks or being a little bit more bold than you're used to being. And it is especially when you are connecting with people very different than you've known before, that love has a way of flowing easier. For those of you just getting to know someone, chances are with Mars in your opposite sign, you're very motivated to spend as much time as possible with this person. At the same time with Venus, while well, you two are probably talking about sort of broad philosophical topics and getting to understand what the other person believes more through your connection, with each other, or at least the developing connection that the two of you share. For those of you in an established bond, when Mars is moving through your opposite sign, it tends to be that you are feeling like you need to be there, wherever there is, but to be there more for your partner, to be more present, or maybe you feel like you have to give more energy to the partnership as well. Now with Venus though, moving through fellow Earth sign, at the same time, there can be a sense of a, a true understanding, an elevated understanding of what it is that you believe and they believe and how it is that you can find common ground together. Now, ultimately, as Venus moves through fellow Earth sign this month, uh, we'll be meeting Saturn in the sky. We'll be meeting Pluto in the sky as well especially in the days around the full moon in the middle of the month. And all of that does suggest a real sense of a reality check. And that can be a great thing. That can be a, a thing that is really not expected, but regardless, it is real. There's something very authentic playing out now uh, between you and your partner, and it will show you the depth of the commitment that the two of you share. What I love about this month for you, well, look, there's a lot here, but I am going to say Jupiter, of course, moving through fellow Earth sign Capricorn, and especially that beautiful solar eclipse towards the end of the month. Now, keep in mind, in the first days of December, a Jupiter special horoscope will be up on YouTube, so make sure you have the notifications turned on for this channel so that you are on the lookout for that, where I'll talk a lot more about Jupiter, including for your sign as well. But having said that, there is something very special that starts to happen for you now. It is as if providence sets in and it is about you realizing that the world is more accessible to you than you realized it was before, whether that is through actually traveling or through ideas or through education. It is now that you start to glimpse a vision for your life. And what you do with this time now is incredibly valuable, not only for the opportunities that are set to take place, but how it is that this month fits into the larger transit of Jupiter coming up ahead. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.